fate to maturity, mm -hmm. but however, age does play a role. Because mm -hmm. if you take a seven-year-old and you have to go, have them initiate, you mm -hmm. know, what is the maturity that they've had yeah, to yeah. to go through in that life? I mean, at seven, that's when a child is coming out of, you know, infancy into mm -hmm. becoming you know, a child, a child. really. Mm -hmm. So those are the complications. And then that's why there are processes that are done to ensure what asib alivalwa ilos. Agna mutonga vanilos. Lashlehiso. So there are ways in which umati gyalshlehiso kuti. Let's wait for this mm -hmm. child. And also, we also want healers now who are not, when I mean educated, is we do want people who are literate because yeah. we're working in the current context where we need to be articulating this work so it makes sense to the ordinary man. And then that's where education plays a role. So mm -hmm. I'm pro-education. Even when they come here and they, they, they're still busy with their studies, I'm like, please continue. Unless learning a fool, when you go to once you are done, you can still complete your studies and you can complete things. So I always try the other options before I yeah. can say yes to Dunumgan. And Ganing, when the parents come, I'm like, that's your calling and you know it. Oh, you know. So I had another incident where the mm -hmm. mother was here and I said, and I was like, oh, but what my husband is Christian. What is I'm like, this what is your I child. Yeah. Are you going to have this 18 year old be robbed of what they could? Have because, because you are afraid. Exactly. When you talk about, exactly. when, when you talk about uh, I mean, into ya kole na bato funguti ingene em duadeni. Um, and and then she says I'm a Christian. Yes. Um, talk to me about this uh, notion that umau busy we then therefore you non Christ you non um God. But let's look at Christianity. I I come from a born again Christian background. I was born again from the age of twelve. And when I was 23, things were not making sense in the church anymore. Because mm -hmm. as much, I went to church seven days a, a week. I was part of everything in the church. I ran the children's ministry, mm -hmm. but nothing was coming. <laughs> you know, the riches that Christ speaks about were not being fruitful. They were not coming to power. And I had to start to question a lot of things. So when we speak about Christians, we speak about a Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. Not, Buti, I am Christian, but the consciousness in which you are articulating or expressing is contradictory to the Christ consciousness. Because Christ speaks about non-judgment, speaks about love speaks about i am not here to to change to, to, to be to, yeah. but i'm here to actually add value but mm -hmm. also we know that christ was jew so he carries a lot of jewish culture yeah. into christianity because he hence himself, we know more about Ahmad Zwako abraham yes yeah i mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. so those those are the two another thing which when we speak about christianity it's not a a, a propaganda but we know that in order for us to be colonized they had to tell us that everything that represented our core as africans was demonic and we needed to be saved you know in the shaga movie shaga says when they say he is the king of kings and he says i am the king of kings which is the same principles that christ consciousness is about yeah. i am the greater I am because yeah. I am the child of God made in the like and the image of the creator. You and know, in fact, God does say that you are made in my image. You understand? But where did we lose? Uh, where, did, where does the distortion comes from? I think the distortion is, yes, distortion comes from multiple uh, layers. One is a historical distortion because history demonized everything that was African in order for Africans to be enslaved, in, in order for us to be oppressed, you know, because take away their roots, which is who we are, Ubuntu Beitu, and then a tree can. Lo it loses its sense of identity, so you then succumb to anything that is being presented to you. Mm -hmm. But currently as well, it's our own misconceptions and prejudices towards who we are as, as Africans, that we having these conversations now is to challenge that, that anything that equates to our essence and who we are is demonic or is backwards. Hence, mm -hmm. I'm speaking about Abantuana Fanele Baye Skolwe. Abantu yeah. and I have to have a life because mm -hmm. yes, maybe 200 years ago when you were called at 15 it was okay because remember the lifestyle in which we lived did not require people to go to school in the form that it's required in the current and, and present moment. And sometimes not even have a family. Yes. Um, I mentioned earlier on as we were talking um, to one of uh, the trainees, if I may put it that way, how did he even know yes. um, that he will be married to you? And, and at the time, both of you didn't know because um, sometimes people get robbed of even family life. Yes, no, none of us knew. When I met him, I didn't know, but I met him when I 
because I had a conversation with God. I'm not Christian, but I believe in the creator and I believe in what Christ came to do. But once you put your, I'm not even a, a traditionalist, you know, I'm a spiritualist. Yeah, spiritualist. And what I mean by that is that I'm forever evolving and I always tune into what the present and current state is asking of me to serve 